y'all, it's Shelly Hinkson, your Weston Lakes Realtor. I am here today with Jennifer Hageman. We are in Dogwood Lane in Volsher. What a beautiful place. Jennifer, thank, thank you. you so much for having us sure, today. Absolutely. Um, just let our viewers get to know you a little bit. Describe your business. Okay. Um, my business name is Dogwood Lane. Uh, it's a home decor, furniture, art, mirrors, accessories, and gift store. Um, I like to, my, my tagline is approachable elegance. Mm. And so I want everyone to be able to come in and know that something here will suit them and something here will speak to them and, and they will always be able to find something here for what they need for their home or for their friend, um, for a gift, their wife. Um, or a loved one um, and we also provide gift wrap for those gifts and okay. that's always something fun I think uh, stores stopped doing that a long time ago and yes, so we provide did. gift wrap so that's yeah. neat yeah. awesome well you've got so many beautiful beautiful things from pillows to lamps to Thank chairs you. furniture it's Thank gorgeous you. I love you I it's very fun to shop for you guys oh. let me tell you I, <laughs> sure. I have a good time shopping for y'all I'm sure <laughs> I would too well, you do a good job. Thank you. Um, so what made you open, decide to open this business? Um, you know, I worked at a store. Uh, retail's always been my background um, from college to today. Uh, and I enjoy the, the customer interaction uh, mm -hmm. and with retail. Uh, and so it just makes sense. I speak that language. Um, but I worked at a store in South Lake for several years. Um, and my boss there and mentor that I respect tremendously, I love her. She invested mm -hmm. so much of her knowledge and love into me. Um, kind of gave me uh, uh, inspiration to have my own place someday in a very tiny scale compared to what she had. And so it just feels good to be part of that small town personal interaction mm -hmm. uh, store that I've just kind of always enjoyed. Oh, that's neat. That's awesome. So I know you're really involved in the community. Is there anything exciting going on with your business or anything outside that you're involved in that are, that your customers should know about? Yeah, uh, I, like um, I try to every month have what I call a yappy hour. Okay. Uh, and it's really just social event um, for <laughs> us that after hours event, I try to always have an attraction. Mm -hmm. um, next week, uh, actually on the 22nd, we're having a hat bar. Hat bar. And Neat. it's going to kick off rodeo. And mm -hmm. what that is is that you would come in and you would pick your hat and uh, we'll help you put a custom hat band together. And uh, that's gonna be really fun. There's an artist and designer here that'll help us do that. And then that oh, way you neat. can wear uh, your custom hat to rodeo and no one else will be there a with one your of a hat kind. on. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. So, yeah, we're very excited about that's that. Neat. And I try to have a yappy hour every month. Um, some months are easier than others, but there's always typically an attraction that I'll have. Um, to bring the ladies out and sometimes I, it's so fun to watch friends that haven't seen each other in a while meet up here and and love to visit and and i always encourage um, my customers and friends to stop by even if they're not going to participate in whatever the trunk show is mm -hmm. just come by and visit and just have some nice girl time and time away from home and a break from the the, the every day of mom taxiing and mm -hmm. things like that and just you know let me be your let down place so that is so neat yeah that is neat now do you do it inside I do. And do you do it outside on the patio if you have it if we've, it's warm enough we've had some events on the patio um they're bigger events um the bigger events i call dogwood after dark Okay. Um, and I've had a couple of fundraising <laughs> events out there. Um, we've had some Christmas parties out there. Ooh, fun. Um, I have a big fundraising event that's going to happen next week as well on Thursday. It's a, it's a fundraising event for Randolph Elementary. Okay. Uh, and they entered it into their fundraising gala last spring. And so it's a disco cowgirl event. And oh, fun. so I have it catered and we have a mixologist uh, here and we have door prizes and bingo and it's so fun. Um, and I'd also encourage that to be a venue for other business owners if they'd like to have a, a small event. We can do, comfortably we can do about 50 people back there. Okay. And uh, and so I encourage that as well and that's been utilized too. So that's neat. I love the patio, it's a special place. Yes, yes, and especially when it, in spring and, and yes. in the summer, I know it'll be, it'll be even more gorgeous yes. back there. Um, so 
why do you think it's important for people to shop local? I think it's important for people to shop local uh, because when you shop, when you support local, local supports you. Um, and it's, it's just, it creates and encourages a sense of family. Mm -hmm. um, I know that it has been a joy for me to build up to that wedding day with my customers and go, okay, we got a week left. Is everything, you know, just to be involved in their life in that way and be encouraging in that mm -hmm. way. Um, the the big box stores not to not to discount them believe me i shop there myself at times um, but the bigger box stores have to appeal to the masses and i love that i don't i can be very personal here mm -hmm. um, i have a list behind the register and it's it's a call list um, for customers that are looking for let's say some green pillows and so the next time i order green pillows I have her phone number behind the desk and I get to call her and say, hey, I just got some green pillows in and I think they're going to be really great for you. So she gets to come in. Same thing with lamps and art and all of that thing, all of those things. And, and that makes it really, like I said, it, it makes it feel more personal. It mm -hmm. makes it feel more intentional. Um, and again, I really enjoy mm -hmm. shopping for y'all. <laughs> and so <laughs> that comes up a lot. Uh, we have the ability to customize some products in mm -hmm. here. And that's really fun. Um, again, they, I think the customers in this area feel like they have a little piece of dogwood in their house. Um, and, and I know that I have some of them in, in my heart and in my place too, because mm -hmm. this, is, this is my home away from home as well. So this is very, uh, when you come in here, I, I really actually don't like referring to my customers as customers because so many of them are also my friends. And, wow. and they all feel like my friends when they walk in the door. And that's so that's, that's special to me. That's neat. Yeah. That is awesome. Um, so Jennifer, tell me a little bit, uh, what else do you do besides outside work? Okay, so I am, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a mom. Uh -huh. uh, they're older, so I'm not a mom taxi anymore, <laughs> but uh, I have a daughter who's a, a junior at the high school at Fulcher mm -hmm. High. And uh, she's a varsity softball player, so mm -hmm. she's very, very busy. Uh, I have a son that's a freshman at Blinn, and he's on the agricultural track and um, doing very well. Okay. And uh, close enough where mom can get to him if she needs to. Okay. And, and I've driven up there and had lunch with him on my days mm -hmm. off. And um, so that's, that's a really special place, too. <clears throat> and that's when I opened the store is when... Uh, the first driver's license was acquired in our household <laughs> because then I knew I had another driver and if I ever got in a pinch we could work it out but mm -hmm. I'm very much still a mom um, mm -hmm. that, and I've enjoyed uh, exposing them to owning a business mm -hmm. and pulling them in and showing them that you know who who breaks down those boxes and puts them in the dumpster mom does mm -hmm. um, so it's not just the glamour up front stage of owning your own business right. there's a lot of hard work that goes behind it right. too and so that's fun uh, i also sit on parks and rec uh, commission okay. with the city mm -hmm. and so that's very exciting okay. to be a part of the growth and to be a part of uh, here i am again on that side of it hearing what residents want and need and then being able to execute that at the city level too mm -hmm. so that's a real joy for for me uh, i've done that for three years total now and this i'm about wow. to get into my fourth year so okay that that's really fun for me as well i'm married i've been married for 23 years okay. and my husband is up here all the time helping me Aww. and um and sometimes he's just hanging out with me and um uh, and several <laughs> friends um friends slash customers have met him as well mm -hmm. um, just being up here and I love that and then I keep my family picture up by the register it is a, it's a beautiful family picture it's oh, a beautiful family but thank it's a beautiful you. picture as well I thank love it. you well I, I want y'all to know that mm -hmm. when you support me you support them as well and um, and and that we're a part of this community mm -hmm. and we love it we love it here yeah. you're also involved with um, some fundraising and some other um, Venue, I mean, other events and, and things too, right? We have. Uh, we have supported lots of local nonprofits and over mm -hmm. the years. Um, I had a roundup program and um, where you would round up to a local nonprofit. It was lottery style, so I took uh, input from the community. Um, be, and that's how I found out about a lot of local nonprofits that I didn't know anything about. 
Uh, and it was very, it's been a very special thing to be a part of. Uh, whatever my customers raised, I reported on Facebook and then I matched what they raised and we gave Great. back to those organizations together. Um, some of them have been Elijah's House, Abigail's Place, uh, Moha has been a big one, um, uh, Annabelle, um, oh my goodness, Annabelle, she's a very sweet little girl. And I can't talk about her right now. Okay. She's a very sweet little girl. <laughs> okay. And, um, but yes, I've had the privilege of being a part of a lot of fundraising. Um, we've even done a booster club shopping event um, and gave back a portion of the proceeds of those sales that night to help our high school booster club. Um, but really, I'm just, I'm very open to supporting a lot of local nonprofits. Um, you guys spend your dollars with me and it only makes sense that I pay that back locally as well. Um, there's a there's a there's an organization I haven't had an opportunity to give back to yet, um, but it is called Twilight Tales and it's an organization that adopts uh, elderly dogs. Uh, dogs that might not otherwise be adopted mm -hmm. um, because of their growing medical bills and very expensive care and um, I'm hoping that they'll come up with our next roundup program so we can we can give back to them too because wow. I know that they they have a lot of needs and a lot of expenses and so hopefully they'll be our next uh, roundup. So. That's really neat. Yeah. Good for you Jennifer. Thanks. Thank you for what you do for the community. Oh thank you. And um, I know that whatever um, <clears throat> you know whatever you give back give out is going to come back to you and I and that's that's just really neat well thank you thank it's you. a pleasure it's a pleasure to support the people that support me so. yeah that's it's neat nice. thank you so much for joining us thank today you. thank you for and having tell me tell me your hours so if someone wants to come in what are your hours we're Tuesday to Saturday okay. 10 to 5 okay um, the easier way to say that is I'm closed on Sunday and Monday <laughs> okay <laughs> so that's the easier way to that's say good. that um, and you're right here in the downtown the main part of downtown yes Fulcher, so. yes right here at uh, Main Street and first across the street from Pier 36 cobblestone essence house uh, next door to ace and uh, all of those so okay. right here in the middle all right y'all come out and visit and shop with dogwood lane and Jennifer I, I've just enjoyed so much being with you, Jennifer. Thank, Thank you. you for Thank being you for with having us me. today. Have a good day. Another episode of Getting to Know Weston Lakes. Thank you for watching Getting to Know Weston Lakes. If you or anyone you know would like to engage in our program to support local businesses and our community, please call me, 832-377-7542. I'm Shelly Hinkson, your Weston Lakes Realtor, bringing heart and home together. Treating clients like family is what I do. Have a blessed day.